pounds per liter of fluid we take off. So we'll put that in our note back to your doctor. Okay. As long as we need to do that, we, we can help you by giving you some albumin after we get that fluid drained, okay? All right. Can you feel the tank locked out? Well, that's good. Now, you're still working, right? I called you at the office last time. Trying to. Yeah, good. How's it going? Some days better than others. Some days it's yeah. frustrating. Some days it's... Yeah. You get a few things. Frustrating by your general condition? No, just getting that energy. You, you, you anticipate getting more done. Yeah. Than you did. Um, yeah, yeah. Is that affected by your energy, strength, stamina, things like that? No? no? Okay. All right. And uh, no forgetfulness or confusion? No. No? Uh, yeah. A little, little bit. A little, little bit, yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Well, I, my, my one thing, you know, when I got a check from you this weekend for some of the supplies, it was supposed to be for 300 and you wrote me a check for 260 You told me 268 and I, and I said after, you know, this weekend it's going to be 300 because for the cost of the fuel to drive down. Okay. I mean, just... Well, that's an honest... Uh, yeah. That, yeah. That's... Have um, you noticed some forgetfulness? Yes. What, yeah. kind of, what kind of things are going on? We have... When I make our bed every day, there are... I put two pillows on each side. Yeah. And he bought a my pillow. Yeah. And so I always put it... It's always been the top one. Yeah. And I bet you've asked me ten times, is it the top one or the bottom one? Yeah. Okay. And I will always say, Alan, it's the All top right. one. Okay. And I just... I mean, that's not... Yeah. That we've, we've discussed that quite a few times about right. your simple little pillow. Okay. Um, my we're, not, we're not... Yeah. We're not... We're not... My wife loves her... My pillow also. Good. You just can't remember okay. whether it's on the top or the bottom. All right. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, looks like you're eating okay. Are you eating? Yeah. Good. Looks like he's filled out slightly since we he's saw him in the hospital. He's still losing. Yeah. He's still losing. Yeah. I think he also wants to know by eating more, that's not putting more fluid in his tongue. No. No. And I think you think that it does. It's sodium. The sodium is what does it. And we'll go back over that. We spend a lot of time on the hospital. No, we want you to get the good, get the calories in, get the protein in, because we run into problems with protein calorie malnutrition. Now, a lot of it is when you have 15 liters of fluid there, you, 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 it's hard to eat. You know, it affects a lot of people's ability to eat. So by getting this controlled, we can help with that, too. I don't have a real big appetite. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. We, labs are pending today, which is fine. Um, what we'll do is, uh, and they, they won't, it'll be a while before they're back, so what we'll do is, uh, when they come back, I'll, I'll give you a call and we'll make some adjustments in these diuretics. Because we want to, we need to keep working up to get you on a good dose that isn't causing you problems, uh, but is getting this sodium retention under control. I thought the one that's, the one you got showed good sodium. Again, it has nothing to do with the sodium on your blood. It's, it's all about... What's happening is, because your tumor, um, your neuroendocrine tumor, it's kind of uh, filling up your liver. And when we get cirrhosis or scarring of the liver, or when we get tumor in the liver, um, it affects blood flow, because the liver is not as compliant and pliable as it used to be. Same thing we talked about before you left the hospital. Um, and so all that blood that needs to go through the portal vein, which is a big old vein that's from the splenic vein and the small bowel vein and colon vein. So we have 10 liters of blood per minute flowing through the liver. Right? Lots of blood. Mm -hmm. All the blood. And when the liver is normal and soft and pliable, it goes through 3 millimeter mercury, no problem. But when uh, the liver is firm or hard or filled with tumor, or fibrosis or scarring from other things. Now we have high pressure in that portal vein. We call it portal hypertension. There you go. And what happens is that that causes sodium retention. To make a, a medium story short, portal hypertension causes sodium retention. Your kidneys think you're dehydrated when you've got plenty of fluid on board. And so your kidneys think you're dehydrated. So they're holding on to every little bit of sodium. 
And that's what this is. This is sodium. So it's sodium. Where sodium goes, water goes. And so we manage this not by having you eat or drink less or anything like that, but by very low sodium diet. We want plenty of calories and protein, but we got to be less than 2,000 milligrams a day on the sodium We've diet. We've been really religious about that. I'm sure right? you have been. I'm sure, yep. we, no, I'm sure you're very careful. careful. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And then we get diuretics that help us get rid of the sodium. And with portal hypertension, we use furosemide and spironolactone. And we need to work up to a dose, along with what you're doing on the diet, we need to bump up your diuretics safely and we try to get this under control so you don't need to have fluid drained. So you can get around better, so you can breathe better, so you can eat better. That's what we're here for. Does that make sense? I know how fast I'm going to the bathroom now. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't change the plan. That doesn't change the plan. You needed seven liters removed, was it last Thursday? Mm -hmm. Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need to keep working and, and get this under control. Right now, now if you don't want to increase diuretics because you're going to the bathroom, that's up to you. But that's the only thing we have to offer in terms of managing this problem. Does that make sense? When When is a telltale sign of like, okay, Dad, you need to go to the hospital and get drained? Is there a... Well, you know, it's, it's just, you know, some people with the amount of fluid there would say, I'm pretty miserable, I need to get fluid drained. It's just into very individual. So when he feels miserable so enough. not a certain poundage or... No, no. The so weight's actually the same today as the day you guys left the hospital. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Now granted that's 16 pounds uh, less than it was, you know, the day before. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, and in one tap in the last month, without, you've been in the hospital since, uh, since the 3rd? Since the 7th. It was a Tuesday we got dismissed. I think it was the 7th. Because we saw you the day you were leaving. And so we're talking about nearly a month. So what we need to do then is uh, understand that. You're doing all the right things. The only thing, the important thing on your part is to keep that sodium down like you're doing. And we need to help adjust the diuretics. And get to a point where you're comfortable and, and you've stopped retaining, you know, where we're... We're in balance with getting rid of the sodium and we prevent this from happening. That's what we do. That's why you're in clinic today. Can I ask my next question? Sure. I, I was not able to come over to Iowa City the first time, but he was in the hospital for five days for an infection with antibiotics. Mm -hmm. When he was drained in Council Bluffs, do they automatically check for infection? Is they, should, they should do a cell count. <coughs> Every time we do it, we'll do a cell count. And we'll put some of the fluid in blood culture bottles. His cultures were negative, uh, so we were treating a mildly elevated white blood cell count in the fluid. Okay. He was not infected in those five days? Or is that a As I said, the cultures were negative, okay. so it didn't grow anything. But if the neutrophil count, a certain bacteria that will go up, a certain uh, white blood cell, if that's elevated above 500, uh, then we'll, we'll treat that uh, as if it were infected. Okay. Um, and so that's what was going on then. Okay. What other questions or concerns do you guys have today? Has his albium levels typically been in the normal range beforehand or? Well, let's see. Is this something we need to be watching more closely here? No. no there's a, you know, the only thing we have to do for that is, uh, is uh, calories and protein. You know, we don't routinely infuse albumin other than when we drain fluid above five liters. You know, I think they suggest that we drink, we drink a <coughs> um, protein drink. Well, we day. like that, you know, yeah. Yeah. boost or insure. We haven't been doing an insure. We, we like that. Yeah, that's Maybe a good idea. Maybe I could idea. put in a smoothie or something in the morning. That wouldn't be... That's a good idea. It wouldn't be maybe a... That is a good idea. Make a smoothie or something. But we can go over some orange juice and, and yeah. okay. stuff, too, and it wouldn't be quite as... That's a very good idea. So the test that you guys did for the livers, again, let me ask my questions. I wasn't here. The test for the liver, you know, on May 7th, those all came back normal. Is there any red flags? Well, what we have is metastatic tumor in the liver. Okay. Metastatic neuroendocrine tumor. Okay. Yeah. That's a red flag. 
okay, but yeah. just and uh, and so we'll have to have Dr. Odoricio and Dr. Dillon cogitate on what the next step is in, in managing the neuroendocrine tumor. Okay. Um, so that's important. <coughs> Who, uh, do you call the shots, or did, does Dylan yeah, call the shots the for the um, 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 managing clinical neuro? trial? No, I, I, I don't call any shots. Uh, <laughs> and so, except on my liver patients. Okay. Uh, uh, no, for neuroendocrine tumor, you've got the best neuroendocrine group in the world here with Dr. Rodericio yeah, and Dr. Dillon, as you understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they write the books on this stuff. So, uh, so, so uh, he might well, still be in the clinical trial. He might still be able to. That'll yeah. be Dr. Dillon. Yes. Okay, yeah. good deal. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're, they're, they're brilliant. I mean, they, they write the books. So is Dad going to be checking in with you every couple months too now? Or? We're going to try to help manage the fluid. And we'll check in more than every couple of months. We called uh, on the uh, 16th, and we'll call this afternoon uh, if, if the electrolytes don't come back sooner. And, and we'll work to try to adjust the diuretics. So we're just kind of, a, you know, trying to get that under control, try to help with that. So previously, uh, up in, you know, the electrolytes are good, renal function's good, sodium, potassium are good. This has nothing to do with the sodium retention problem. Um, white count's good, hemoglobin hematocrit are stable, platelets are good, stable over time, uh, as compared to before, yeah, we're good there. Um, and hep C and hep B were negative as expected, and, and glucose levels are under, are looking good, and, and uh, thyroid was, uh, good. And in terms of liver function, uh, it's looking good. Uh, you know, Billy Rubin, last time we checked it as an outpatient, was 1.2, but 0 0.7 on the Billy Rubin. Albumin levels, uh, they were pretty good up until, up until March, and they've been low since March. Right. Uh, 3.2, 2.8, bottomed out at 2.2 on the 7th in the hospital, I guess, and 2.5 on the 8th, and, and then uh, on the 11th they were up a little bit to 3, the albumin level, and if we get fluid drained, people can eat better, and some of the albumin is related to nutrition, it's not all liver, some of it's related to nutrition. And the ammonia was just a little bit high on the 3rd, that's what goes up if, if the blood flow is not getting through the liver, it goes around the liver, and so the Ammonia levels can go up. That's why I asked about forgetfulness. Normal ammonia in our lab is 51. Uh, Mr. Tam's yours was 65 on the third, so minimal elevation uh, relatively. Um, let's see, coagulation time is normal. So liver function uh, is, is, this is not liver failure. Um, albumin is part liver cells making albumin, but also part nutrition, protein and calorie intake, and we'll hope to see that improve if we can get better calories in. And then on the scans, he's got a, a liver full of neuroendocrine tumor, which I think is the cause of this portal hypertension. It was planted there. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. You know what's causing him not to speak very well? Be no, I don't. Strained. That just started about a month and a half ago. What kind of trouble speaking? Are you? Are you? False having? teeth. False teeth. Well, but you're just you're, you're struggling. Just, you're struggling to talk. In a, in a. Oh, sometimes I talk like a girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's 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 probably politically incorrect. To say we shouldn't say you shouldn't say stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, it's just, just like you want I don't have a bass voice like I used to. Yes, you do. You've got a husky, manly voice. That's bass. I mean. yeah. Are you, are you a, were, did you, were you a singer? Have you ever been a, involved no. in any singing? No. Just no. in the shower. Just in the shower? Yeah. Just in my vehicle. <laughs> uh, yeah? On the tractor or What's, what's your favorite thing to, thing to sing? <laughs> What, what comes on the radio that'll get you going? Beach Boys. Beach Boys? Serious radio. Yeah, yeah. Beach Boys, do you have a Beach Boy channel? 
-hmm. kind of sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Um, and so that's kind of what we're seeing. Right okay. Now. And that's the labs. Um, with the mobility struggling more, is there any chance of getting like a temporary handicap sticker? How do we go about? Yeah, you just work with your doctor and get a local doctor then. Get okay. A handicap. Yeah. Okay. Let me take thirty seconds and examine you, uh, Mr. Pants. And then uh, what we'll do. Once the electrolytes come back, I'm leaving home now before I leave the office. I'll be here for a little bit.